What's up gamers? If you're running Counter-Strike 2 on a low-end PC and feeling the FPS struggle, I've got you covered. Today I'm going to walk you through a series of game-changing tweaks that'll have your system running smoother than ever. No more lag, no more stuttering, just pure, uninterrupted gameplay. Let's dive straight into it and make your CS2 experience a whole lot better. What's directed with the lag and hyping while you play games, so that you need a gear a boost. So. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Rope there's like Asian Jeff and Paul arrive to use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Let's start by optimizing your Steam settings to reduce unnecessary background usage and improve overall performance in Counter-Strike 2. Launch Steam, go into Settings, and first head over to the Friends and Chat section. Here disable the Steam Avatar animations. These small animations consume extra resources that we don't need. Now switch over to the Interface tab. Set the library as your startup page to speed up Steam's launch process. Then disable the following options. Scale text and icons to match monitor settings. Show as which account when signing in. Smooth scrolling, GPU accelerated rendering in web views, and hardware video decoding. These features may look nice, but can negatively affect performance, especially on low-end machines. While you're here, also disable unnecessary notification pop-ups for a cleaner experience. Next, head into the library section and make sure to enable the three performance recommended options you'll see listed there. This helps improve responsiveness and load times. Then, go to the Remote Play tab and make sure Remote Play is turned off. Most low-end users won't benefit from this feature, and it can use up valuable system resources in the background. Next up, we're going to use an incredibly effective tool called Run With Affinity, which helps control how your CPU handles specific games or programs. This tool is great for squeezing out extra performance, especially if you're dealing with stutters, high CPU usage, or background processes hogging your system's power. It's especially useful on low-end PCs, and best of all, it's completely free. To get it, just head over to my website. The link is down in the video description. Once you're there, scroll through the homepage and look for the latest post that matches this video's title and thumbnail. It'll be easy to spot. Click on the post to open the full guide and you'll find a clean, no ads direct download link so you can grab the tool right away. This tool is designed to enhance your CPU's efficiency while running Counter-Strike 2, making it especially useful for players with low-end systems. Many gamers don't take full advantage of their CPU threads during gameplay, but this utility ensures CS2 utilizes your processor more effectively for a smoother experience. To get started, click on Select Program and then press the three dots icon to browse for the CS2 executable file. Navigate through your Steam directory by going to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike 2, Game, Bin, Win64. Inside the Win64 folder, locate the main executable file named cs2.exe and double-click it to select. Once you've selected the file, move down to the processor section, where you'll see your selected affinity. Ideally, it should automatically detect and select the maximum number of CPU threads available on your system. However, if it doesn't, make sure to manually check the highest number yourself. For instance, if your processor supports 16 threads, select all 16 to ensure CS2 uses the full potential of your CPU. After configuring the thread settings, click on Create Shortcut to generate a quick launch icon on your desktop. You can name this shortcut anything you like and choose a convenient location for it. Once the shortcut is created, you're all set. Simply launch CS2 using this shortcut to benefit from the optimized CPU usage. After that, feel free to close the tool. Your settings will remain active whenever you use the shortcut. Now let's apply some quick but effective registry tweaks to boost CS2 performance, especially on low-end PCs. Open the registry folder from the optimization pack. You'll find several .reg files inside. These disable unnecessary services, reduce background usage, and improve CPU handling. Just double-click each one to apply. Don't skip any. Next, go to the Counter-Strike 2 Priority folder. It contains registry files that tell Windows to prioritize CS2 when it's running. Choose the file that matches your system. Use normal priority for low-end PCs, medium for mid-range, and high for high-end setups. This ensures CS2 gets proper CPU focus for better performance. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. 
Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now let's tweak your GPU settings for better FPS in CS2, especially on low-end systems. Open NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD Radeon settings, then go to Manage 3D Settings. Here, we'll adjust key options to cut visual load and boost performance. First, locate the Power Management Mode setting and change it to Prefer Maximum Performance. This prevents your GPU from downclocking during gameplay and keeps it running at its highest performance level consistently, which is critical for maintaining stable FPS. Next, find texture filtering, quality, and set it to high performance. This setting lowers the texture rendering quality slightly but significantly reduces the processing load on your GPU, a worthwhile trade-off for smoother gameplay on low-end machines. If you're using an AMD card, apply similar settings by switching to gaming with global graphics and set graphics profile to eSports or manually adjust texture filtering quality to performance and power efficiency to off. These GPU optimizations help reduce unnecessary visual strain, allowing CS2 to run more efficiently and giving you better performance where it matters most, in-game responsiveness and higher FPS. A common cause of FPS drops and stuttering in CS2 is using the wrong Windows power plan. By default, Windows balances performance and energy efficiency, but for gaming, especially on low-end PCs, you need maximum power. Switch to the high-performance power plan to unlock your hardware's full potential. Start by opening the Start menu and typing Choose a Power Plan into the search bar. Open the result and you'll see a list of available power plans. Typically Power Saver, Balanced, and High Performance. Here's what they mean. Power Saver restricts your hardware from using minimal energy, which is terrible for gaming. Balanced dynamically adjusts power usage, but it still limits performance when your system doesn't detect high demand. High performance, on the other hand, keeps your hardware running at maximum capacity when needed, perfect for consistent FPS in CS2. Select High Performance, then click on Change Plan Settings, followed by Change Advanced Power Settings. This opens the Advanced Settings menu, where you can fine-tune how Windows handles specific hardware components. First, expand the Hard Disk section and set Turn Off Hard Disk After to 0 minutes. This ensures your hard drive stays active, which improves system responsiveness and prevents hiccups during gameplay. Next, expand the Processor Power Management section. Set both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100%. This forces your CPU to run at full speed consistently, eliminating the power-saving behavior that can throttle performance mid-game. These power settings are essential for stabilizing and maximizing performance in Counter-Strike 2, especially when every frame counts on a low-end system. Now let's take another step to boost your system's performance by optimizing how your CPU allocates resources and reducing unnecessary visual effects. This will result in smoother gameplay and faster application performance in Counter-Strike 2. Start by searching for Advanced System Settings in the Windows search bar and opening it. Once you're in, click on the Advanced tab and hit Settings under the Performance section. In the new window, switch to the Advanced tab again, where you can manage CPU resource allocation for different tasks. Make sure the option is set to Programs. If it's set to Background Services, the system will prioritize background tasks, which isn't ideal for gaming. By choosing Programs, your system will dedicate more CPU power to active applications, such as Counter-Strike 2, ensuring smoother gameplay. Next, move over to the Visual Effects tab and select Adjust for best performance. This will automatically turn off all the unnecessary animations and visual effects that use up CPU and memory resources, making your system more responsive. After applying this, you'll see a list of visual effects. You can enable a few essential ones for usability without compromising performance. Some effects to consider keeping are Animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. This gives you smooth window transitions without adding too much load. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This helps preview images and documents in File Explorer. Smooth edges of screen fonts. This keeps text clear and readable, which is important for maintaining a clean desktop environment. Once you've selected the ones you want to keep, click Apply to save the changes, then hit OK to exit. By making these adjustments, your system will be more efficient, reducing unnecessary visual load while still maintaining a user-friendly interface. So guys, that was today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. See you in the next one. Bye.